Hi, it's me, Teacher Jean. In this lesson, you will learn about adding and subtracting similar fractions. Fractions are part of a whole or of a set. It may be either be proper or improper. Fractions fall under a set of numbers called rational numbers. A rational number is a number that can be expressed as a ratio or quotient of two integers where the divisor is not equal to zero. So it can be written in the form A over B where B is not equal to zero. So the line there is what we call the fraction bar that denotes division. A is the numerator, refers to the number above the fraction bar. And B is the denominator, that refers to the number below the fraction bar. Similar fractions are fractions that have the same or equal denominators. The examples are 1 third, 2 thirds, 3 thirds, 4 thirds, and so on. As you noticed, we have the same or like denominators. In similar fractions, to add or subtract fractions with like or same denominator, first, we're going to add or subtract the numerators. Second, copy the common or same denominator. Third, simplify or reduce the result to its lowest if possible. Given a over b plus c over b is equal to a plus c over b. Another a over b minus c over b is equal to a minus c over b. Now, for you to understand, let's have the following examples. Perform the indicated operations. Now, for adding similar fractions, let's have the first one. 7 over 11 plus 8 over 11. So, here we're going to add the numerator and copy the same or common denominator. So, 7 plus 8 is equal to 15 over 11. 15 over 11 is considered improper fraction. So we're going to change it to mixed number. So we're going to divide 15 divided by 11. That is equal to 1 and 4 over 11 or 1 and 4 elevenths. For number 2, we have 4 over 5 plus 1 over 5. First, we're going to add the numerator 4 plus 1. Then copy the common denominator 5. So 4 plus 1 is equal to 5 over 5. And 5 divided by 5 is equal to 1. And that is the final answer. For number 3, we have 2 over 9 plus 4 over 9. So first, we're going to add the numerator. Then copy the common or same denominator 9. So 2 plus 4 is equal to 6 over 9. And we're going to simplify or reduce to lowest terms. 6 over 9 have a common factor, and the greatest common factor is 3. So we're going to divide both numerator and denominator by 3. So 6 divided by 3 is equal to 2, and 9 divided by 3 is equal to 3. So the lowest term is 2 over 3, and that is the final answer. For number 4, we have negative 5 over 8 plus 3 over 8. So first, we're going to add the numerator, negative 5 plus 3. Then copy the common or same denominator, 8. Now, as you noticed, we have negative 5 plus 3. They are unlike or different signs. So we're going to subtract and follow the sign of the larger absolute value. And the result is negative 2 over 8. Then we're going to simplify or reduce to lowest terms. Negative 2 over 8 had a common factor. And the greatest common factor is 2. Then divide both numerator and denominator by 2. So negative 2 divided by 2 is equal to negative 1. 8 divided by 2 is equal to 4. So the lowest term is negative 1 over 4 or negative 1 4. And that is the final answer. For number 5, given 7 and 2 over 5 plus 3 and 1 over 5. So here, we can add first the whole number 7 plus 3. Then we add also the fractions 2 fifths plus 1 fifth. And 7 plus 3 is equal to 10. Then we add the numerator 2 plus 1. And copy the same or common denominator 5. And that is equal to 10 and 3 over 5 or 10 and 3 fifths. 
for the other solution, we can change the mixed number to improper fraction. So given 7 and 2 fifths plus 3 and 1 fifth, first we're going to multiply 5 times 7, we have 35 plus 2, it gives us 37 over 5. Then, 5 times 3, 15 plus 1, it gives us 16 over 5. Next, we're going to add the numerator, 37 plus 16, then copy the common denominator, 5. So 37 plus 16, that is equal to 53 over 5. And that is considered improper fraction. So we're going to change it to mixed number. So just simply divide 53 divided by 5, we come up the same answer which is 10 and 3 over 5. So in any method, we come up the same answer, which is 10 and 3 over 5. Now let's proceed on subtracting similar fractions. Perform the indicated operations. For number 1, given 7 over 15 minus 4 over 15. So same procedure, we're going to subtract the numerators, then copy the same or common denominator 15. So 7 minus 4, that is equal to 3 over 15. And 3 over 15 can be simplified or reduced to lowest terms. And the greatest common factor is 3. So divide both numerators numerator and denominator by 3, 3 divided by 3 is equal to 1, 15 divided by 3 we have 5, so the lowest term is 1 over 5 or 1 fifth. And that is the final answer. For number 2, we have 9 over 16 minus 13 over 16. So first, we're going to subtract the numerators. Then copy the same or common denominator 16. So using the rule of subtraction, negative 13 is greater than positive 9. So the result is negative 4 over 16. And negative 4 over 16 can be simplified or reduced to lowest terms. And the greatest common factor is 4. So negative 4 divided by 4 is equal to negative 1 and 16 divided by 4 is equal to 4. So the lowest term is negative 1 over 4 or negative 1 fourth. For number 3, we have 1 over 5 minus the quantity negative 3 over 5. So first, we're going to subtract the numerators, then copy the same or common denominator 5. Now, as you notice, we separate the minus and the negative using the parentheses. So here, we can multiply. Negative times negative will become positive. So it gives us 1 plus 3 over 5. Then simplify 1 plus 3 is equal to 4 over 5 or 4 fifths and that is the final answer. For number 4, we have 2 over 9 minus 4 over 9. First, we're going to subtract the numerators then copy the same or common denominator 9. So 2 minus 4 is equal to negative 2 over 9. So here, negative 4 is greater than positive 2. So the result is negative 2 and negative 2 over 9 has no common factor. So the negative on the numerator can be written also aligned to the fraction bar. For number 5, we have negative 3 over 10 minus 2 over 10. So first, we're going to subtract the numerator. So the negative that aligned to the fraction bar can be put on the numerator and it gives us negative 3 minus 2. Then we copy the common or same denominator 10. So using the rule of subtraction of integers, the numerator is equal to negative 3 plus negative 2 and it gives us negative 5 over 10 and negative 5 over 10 can be simplified or reduced to lowest terms and the greatest common factor is 5 so negative 5 divided by 5 is equal to negative 1 10 divided by 5 is equal to 2 so the lowest term is negative 1 over 2 or negative 1 half and that is the final answer now it's your turn. Do it yourself. Simplify the following fractions. Don't forget to comment down below your answers. Happy learning! Thanks for watching. Please like and share. And don't forget to subscribe on my channel and click the bell button so that you will be notified whenever I'm going to upload a new one. Maraming salamat!